There we go. Whew, okay. Danger. Let's assess. Dang. <laughs> that was quite a fight. That was quite a fight. Had some pucker moments there. Welcome back, everybody, to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, uh, we are going to continue our um, eradication of the Xenon in this part of space. Uh, so if you haven't uh, caught the last few episodes, uh, or even the last one, I don't remember exactly where we left off, um, because I've been doing a lot of off-camera work, but uh, just to kind of recap, we came over here and we pushed the Xenon out of Fires of Defeat. We pushed them out of Tharka's Ravine. 24 uh, out of family to Kerr to Kerr we've pushed them out of matrix 451 and pushed them out of Thurx demise 3 uh, they never did actually get a foothold in uh, Thurx demise 2 um, so now um, we need to push them out of Eonymous 04 and then the final sector will be matrix 9 so, you know, I've been pounding these guys so much that they're actually, you know, they're actually really hurting. Uh, this is the last solar power plant that they have. And I, I think I start to suspect that they're running out of resources because I haven't seen them build a new, you know, uh, capital vessel in quite some time. And the, their last three remaining capital vessels, <clears throat> excuse me, barring any that might be hidden in this sector where the satellite coverage isn't. Uh, are, are down in Eonymous Sur, and we're going to destroy those in this episode. Uh, so once we get that done, then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to target the wharf first, uh, because once we get the wharf down, they'll no longer be able to make the S ships in particular, and then that basically means all of their building and everything comes to a grinding halt. Um, we'll keep an eye on the shipyard, and if it looks like they're starting to build you know, a K or even an I will we'll come and put a stop to it. But this this is the bigger threat right here. Uh, the defense towers don't matter. Uh, they'll be the last things we'll take out. Uh, and we'll also want to take out the solar power plant to completely remove all their power. But even before we do that, we'll hit the wharf first. Okay, so let's take a look at the situation that we got to deal with here. This is going to be interesting, to say the least. Uh, so we have two Ks and an I that have been uh, just hanging out in the sector and just wreaking havoc on, on everybody that comes through here. Um, and the Talati, or I'm sorry, not the Talati, the Xenon actually currently own Eonymous 04, but this was the Talati's original, uh, well, Talati Company's original home sector. And so, um, you know, we're going to clear it out and free it up so the Talati can have it back. And... Um, and then move into Matrix 9. And I might actually take Matrix 9 for myself because it's got uh, it's pretty good resources here. Um, it's got like 291,000 Navidium, and then the methane, ore, and silicon are up into the millions. So this is a pretty wealthy sector. Uh, this other sector, too, that's also currently occupied by the Xenon, but has no stations other than a couple of defense towers, uh, this thing has millions of helium, hydrogen, ice, and methane. So... Also a very wealthy system for the gases and for ice. Uh, so we'll clear, you know, we'll clear them out of there too, but I'm not too worried about this because they have no means of manufacturing new ships in that system. So that's a low priority uh, system for now. Okay. Uh, also, I have a couple of pieces of bad news. I have lost my nemesis. Uh, it was in my Corvette patrol that's currently keeping things under control over in Zyarth space. Uh, so I've got a little uh, katana leading uh, and a dragon, some fighters and stuff. And if I notice that the Xenons start to build or, or attempt to build a new base, or not a base, but a platform, uh, which they're constantly trying to do, I send those guys over to say, nope, you can't do that. Um, and in the process, uh, I lost the Nemesis. And then the worst news is that I lost the Odysseus. Um, when we had the fight for Matrix 451, um, and that's, I think that was during the fight that I, I killed that second eye, which I'm planning on probably showing you guys in a montage, maybe at the beginning of this video.
Um, we lost the Odysseus, which sucks, but it is what it is. And I'm not planning on replacing the Odysseus. I, I, I just like the Osaka so much better that uh, <clears throat> we're going to just kind of stick with those as our main destroyer moving forward until, uh, you know, we can get a hold of the Sin, that, that is. Okay, so enough enough babbling here. Um, here's what here's what we're gonna do here. So, um, <clears throat> we're gonna send in. Uh, let me think about this for a second. Okay, here I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the Orca, my auxiliary vessel, and um. I'm going to actually set it up right above this gate and have it guard a very, very small uh, sphere. And then get have everybody else pack in that sphere because it's very important that we keep everybody together and keep them tight uh, for us to be successful. If, if we get too spread out, then we're in trouble. Um, so what we'll, what we'll do then is, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> My throat's not working very well tonight. I need a drink of water. Let's get a drink of water. Okay, so I'm going to pull... Here, let's pull the Orca out of the group for now. Remove all orders and assignments. And then I want all of the fighters. No, actually, here, let's grab the Osakas first. So I want you guys to mimic the commander in Alpha Group. Okay. I want all my she's. Uh, I guess they're going to have to be an alpha too. Okay, that's fine. They can be an alpha. And then the rattlesnake. I'm going to be controlling myself. But. Here, let's remove all orders and assignments. Let's have it currently follow the orca. For the moment um, because I have my pilot um, actually controlling the vessel I'm, I'm not I'm in the side seat for the moment and then I'll take it over when the when the combat actually starts okay good now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the orca and we're gonna come through the gate and tell it to protect position. So let's go ahead and go here. And we're gonna do protect position. We're gonna make that position right by the gate here. And it's gonna be a really small radius, like maybe five kilometer radius. Yeah, that's probably good. And I also want it to be up high. Okay. Um, so let's unpause the game. And all of the ships should pop through the gate and get in position. Fortunately, these guys are actually heading the other direction, so they are going to turn around and notice us, but that gives us a little bit of time to kind of get staged here. Hopefully the orca gets over here in a timely manner. It was kind of back a ways. So we've got three Osakas. Is 
Yeah, so those guys are starting to turn around. They're going, what is going on? We're getting invaded. Here, let me pause the game for a second. Okay, they're coming. So it looks like the, yeah, Osaka 4 just popped through. That's good. I think, I don't know this for sure, but I think think these guys will start protecting that position even before the orca gets here. I hope that's the case because it might take a little while to get here. These fighters are going to mess with Osaka 4, but his turrets should take care of him. These guys are like going, what's going on over there? They're actually, looks like they're kind of sort of distracted by him, which is good. This gives us a little more time to get set up here. Okay, let's see. Uh, rattlesnake. Where art? Where art thou? Yeah, you're you're just in follow. Okay. Hey, yeah, this is actually. It's good that that NPC trader went by because it distracted those guys. And it's just given us a little more time to get set up here. Um, I'm thinking, though, that I'm going to take over for the NPC because they're just being dumb as hell. That's what else is doing, right? i got to see where the I'm oriented here. Missouri. We should have already been over there. Everything is staying held together on the other side. Entering system. Yanamos Zura. Okay, so the orc is through also. Travel drive is going to work when they're shooting at us. It cancels it out. Get lost. You'll have to try harder than that. You'll have to try harder than that. that Look at that fireworks, man. Yeah. Awesome.
probably more or less in the thick of things here. Let me see what these guys are doing. Okay, I think we have their full attention now, but fortunately they're they're still back that way a little bit. I want to target him. for orientation purposes. Try again. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. Don't knock it off. Don't hit me. Is the orca doing? <laughs> it's moving super slow, but that's what that ship does. Okay, so hopefully, if things go the way I hope they go, um, these fighters will come after us first, and then we can we can get them out of the way. And then we just have to deal with the three big guys. Um, I'm almost wondering if I should maybe jump in the Orca too. Because uh, it's kind of darpen a little bit. Um, okay, here. Let's... Um, so many things to think about. Let's hop out of the seat there. I want the rattlesnake to stay put. Do not go anywhere. Do not do anything. Do not talk to anyone. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Just stay there. And also, don't retaliate. Just ignore. Machine. Remove all orders and assignments so it holds position. Okay. That way it doesn't take off on us when we jump out of it. Okay, let's teleport to the Orca. Never a good idea. Get out of the way. Awaiting orders. Okay, hold on a sec. Um, <clears throat> what direction am I facing? Okay, I'm facing up. Good. Let's uh, let's target the rattlesnake just so we kind of have it. Can use it as a guide. Oh no, I see where we're going. Okay, never mind. I don't know. If We'll be able to get away with travel mode before something hits us, but we'll try it. I think this ship has... should be stocked with missiles. Uh, nope, looks like they've shot them all. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to keep doing missiles. It's too big of a pain in the butt to, to keep him stocked. I know he can go get his own, but that's actually not as easy as it sounds, because if you're in the middle of a, a war zone, like I've been for so long, there isn't really any place for them to, to get him. So, that. When it's convenient, I'm going to change the turrets back out to probably flak turrets or maybe lasers. We'll see. Okay, let's teleport back into the rattlesnake. Okay, now I just want to double check and make sure the orca... Doesn't have some weird ass orders that's gonna. Okay, so. 
He's protect position, so he's exactly where he needs to be. Left some cargo drones behind, but you know what? I'm not too worried about that right now. It's not important. Okay, so I think we're set up the way we need to be. So, again, if this goes like I hope it goes, these guys will move in a little bit closer, and then they'll send the fighters after us, and then we'll annihilate them, and then we just have to deal with the big boys. So, let's go ahead and... Just kind of watch and see what happens here. gonna do guys come get me Looks like we got some fighters coming up that way into our death trap hmm it's like these guys go oh, okay whatever let's just keep terrorizing more traders okay this guy's coming after us Watch the fireworks here. Nice. I could, I could drop some hey, laser towers, but I don't firing. think we, we'll need them. We're just going to shred anything that flies into our trap here. Plus, the laser towers can get in the way and make it so you can't control the ship very well. Been there, done that. Got the damn postcard. I won't let you get away with that. The one thing I'm learning about this game is you really have to you really have to control everything, and that's easier said than done because otherwise the AI will just. And sometimes AI is really just doing what you told it to do, but it's not what you expect it to do, if that makes any sense. So I have found, you know, using small, tight, protect positions like this is a really good way to, to keep them under control and keep them together. Because um, you don't want them to spread out in this type of situation or they're just going to get ruined. Okay, let's take a look on the map again. really like to get these little fighters out of here before we deal with the big ships because they're just going to be a pain in the butt otherwise. So let's give it some more time. Um, the worst thing that can happen is for, for the eye to travel drive right up into our midst because if that happens we're in trouble. <laughs> we could probably handle the K's but the, if the eye comes up there, no bueno. So I'd rather deal with him out in the open. Because, I mean, even, you know, let's say by some stroke of luck we did manage to kill him. He's going to blow up right in the middle of us, and <laughs> we're going to literally have, have a bomb right in, the, right in our midst going off. So, yeah, not a good situation. I mean, I guess I could just tell everybody to flee at that point. That's probably what it would have to do. Okay, here comes another fighter. So... Lit up. Not good enough. Gone in seconds. All right. I'm really surprised, though, that these the big cap capital ships aren't moving towards us. You'd think they would. It's it's probably because we're up high, and that's, you know, that's by design. The reason I go up high is because, you know, it's easier to come down on the top of the, the K's in particular. Well, even the I, for that matter. But the AI, you know, even not just the enemy, but even my own AI, 
They have a little bit of trouble sometimes with verticality in this game, I've noticed. So that kind of works to our advantage and our disadvantage. <laughs> okay, so more fighters are coming from the this group, which is great. If we can get them all to come, that'd be just peachy. There's just two more left down there now. Xenon spotted! Prepare to be wiped out. That machine can actually shoot. Nice fireworks. Those purple um, beams are the burst rays. They're not very strong under normal combat, but they just obliterate surface elements, and so that's why I have them. We could... I'm not super concerned about just two fighters. Where are all these guys going? Oh, they're going to head to the next sector. Uh, I'm going to wait just a little bit longer, though, before we mount the attack here. Okay, the small fighter's taking the bait. Just going to get the P to take the bait, too. Come on, dude. Get out of there. I don't want you messing around while we kill your big brother. Yeah, yeah, I know. Do we have um guys coming through the other side here? Try again. Uh, nothing too significant. Okay, well, I think we can probably start now. our attack. You wish you hadn't done that. Yeah, that looks like they're starting to move. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab all of our fighters. Uh, no, we need to move the Asakas into a different group. Uh, I want you guys to defend the commander. No, that's not what I want you to do. Okay, so they should theoretically uh, stay with the Orca. Okay, we're going to have them hit the eye first, just because the eye is obviously the most dangerous. So the idea is we're going to go in, take out their engines, pull them back, let them regroup, go in, take out the engines of the first cave, pull them back, let them regroup, and then take the third one out. That's the plan. We'll see how well that's actually going to work. Here we go. Here goes nothing. Yeah, it looks like those guys are traveled. Okay, good. The eye stopped. Um, those Ks will probably stop. If they don't, then we'll, we'll have to attack them with the Osakas. Is that the best you've got? Yeah, hold on. Okay. It looks like the Ks are slowing down their charge, so they're not going to... Doesn't look like they're going to fly right up into our group, which is good. I don't really want them to at this point. 
All right, let's watch this, because as soon as the fighters take out the engines, we've got to pull them back. Or the, or the eye will just annihilate them. So they're going to come around here, circle around, and attack that engine. That is so cool looking, man. And that engine's gone. Nice. That didn't take long at all. And a few of them are attacking from this side. But when they all kind of come around in their little swoop group... Oh! They got the engine already. My goodness. That was fast. We lost a she, but that's to be expected. Okay. Um, so, now what we're going to do is... Go into the map. I'm going to pull. Remove all orders. I'm just going to pull the fighters off this way. Just get them away from the eye. Away from the eye, boys. Because the eye still obviously has its guns, it just can't move now. Oh, I must have forgotten to. Oh, shit. I always forget to do this. Um, <clears throat> you don't want these guys on escape. That's fine for when they're by themselves well even then it doesn't work very well but they have to follow my instructions to the letter or they're gonna die or get the rest of my fleet killed so I will decide when you retreat not you that sounds real dictatorial doesn't it <laughs> hey well, it works that's why there's a cha chain of command in the military. You know, anymore I'm making way more combat ships than I am trader ships, so I should almost set this as the global. And then when I make the trader ships every once in a while, I'll change them over. I think I'll start doing that. You're good. Okay. So everybody is now on ignore enemies. I'm going to reset their orders just to be on the safe side. Okay. We've got a few. Uh... This K here is creeping up on us. We might need to send the destroyers after him. I think we <clears throat> I think we better do that. I was kind of hoping to get to him with our, our fighters too. Well, how, how close is he? He's pretty damn close. Yeah, let's um we better attack him. Make sure you don't have any previous orders. Now, I want you guys to uh, let's have you clean up these few fighters first just so they don't interfere with your next 
run on the next K. <clears throat> Looks like that guy's like stuck in the ship, which is fine with me. Okay, so we'll let them deal with those guys. And I'm going to help take out this K. actually a lot closer than I thought he was. This is a really, really bad position to be in, but if we can get him to focus elsewhere long enough for us to really burn him down, we might be okay. Yeah, man, this isn't good. He's got all of his gravitons on me. Yeah, I know the shields are down. You don't have to tell me that. He's just doing his job. The thing about the rattlesnake is... It's scary when you lose your shield so fast, but this thing's got such a so much hull that... It's not quite as dire as it feels. Danger. Okay, let's pause the game. We, got, we took care of him. Now, we're going to have the fighters also take his engines out. Uh, did we lose anybody? Only one she so far. Okay. Very acceptable losses. I mean, it sucks, but... It's war, baby. Okay. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's have the fighters take out his engines. And I think... Do I have any drones in my rattlesnake? Repair drones, that is. Uh, I have one. <laughs> Crap. Okay. That guy got ahead of everybody else. He's not going to survive, most likely. You know what we could try to do with him is force him to flee. Whether that does any good or not, probably not. There is one more thing he can do before he dies. And that is nothing, because he doesn't have any more laser towers. Okay, he can just die. That's what you get for being a dumbass and not sticking with your buds. Not bad for a piece of machinery. Okay. Okay, let's watch his get engines get annihilated. Beautiful. Okay, the fighters have done their job. Very proud of them. Except for the one guy that was an idiot. And he lost his life. So remove all orders. And then you can go hang out with the orca. And uh, I will probably do the rest of the work myself.
I think I will. I, see, the thing is, is their engines are out, but you can't wait too long or they'll repair them and then be back up and running again, which obviously we don't want. Okay. So basically, all we have to do now is just come right down on on over the top of them. Try again. Oh shit, we just lost another she. Somebody not following orders. I don't know, maybe that wasn't the case, but very often is. That little drone gets my that was a bad move. gun fixed. But down on the K. And we've got to take the eye out first because he's been sitting for longer. I. Okay, so right over the top of him. It's probably good there. Plasma cannons don't take out my last remaining repair drone. That's happened multiple times. There we go. Okay, we're in range. Let's take this guy out. Watch out, drone! Don't get blown up, I need to get to repair my guns. K blow up? Who blew the K up? I didn't blow him up. Did I blow him up? <laughs> I don't know how the K blow up. I think the K blew up. What was that explosion otherwise? And there he goes. Explosion imminent. Oh, we didn't see the shockwave on that one. Bummer. Um, who killed the K? Oh, no, he's still there. Something else blew up. I don't know what it was. Uh, oh, no, that's a... That's a new K. Yeah, that's a new one because this one did blow up. Huh. I don't know. I I totally didn't see how that happened. Unless maybe my lower turrets were shooting at it or something. How interesting. Okay, well, um since we have another K that came to visit. Let's do the same thing to him. I mean these fighters could could completely kill him just by themselves easily actually but you know we we run the risk of losing a bunch of them in, in the explosion and i'd rather not do that so let's let them do their thing okay we'll get to Reposition. Yeah, I guess my bottom turrets must have sh must have killed the other K. So we got a twofer there. <laughs> Didn't even realize it. I'm not complaining though. Absolutely not complaining. Uh, where is this 
guy at? Okay, I, got, I better check because the fighters might have already taken his engines out. No, they're still dive bomb him. Dive bombing him. Infernal machine hit you. That engine's out. Come on, guys, get that other engine. I think they're having a little bit of trouble maneuvering because the gate's right there. Okay, remove all orders. Uh, I think we've lost two more. Mm, no, we lost five more she's. Damn. Well, that's war for you. Okay, we could probably send the Osaka's in to finish him off. But we will also go after him too, just in case, because you never know. You can actually get Gravitons up to us here. Success. Dang. <laughs> that was quite a fight. That was quite a fight. Had some pucker moments there. Okay, so let's see here. I have uh I had my little scout uncover this whole sector to make sure there wasn't any hidden xenon stations, and there isn't. I'm just making sure these guys aren't trying to rebuild somewhere. I think they're they're kind of out of resources. Uh, because they would normally have already started trying to rebuild some stations by now. And, yeah, I think they're out of resources. Too bad. Sucks to be them, eh? All right. This might be a Xenon station here. Uh, so let's grab our scout. And remove all orders and assignments. And I just want you to fly close to that, and then um, when you're finished with that, go dock with Osaka one, so I don't forget about you and leave you there and get and you get killed. So we'll let him do that, and then obviously we have to take out this defense platform here. And then after that, it'll be Matrix 9. It'll be our final assault on the... Well, actually, it'll be our final major assault. We are going to take this system from the two, but that, this is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy when the time comes. Well, at least I think so. There might be... <laughs> watch there be an absolutely enormous fleet hidden in that system. Yeah, that suck. Nuts and bolts. Settle spotted. Prepare to be wiped out. 
Whoops. Okay, while we're waiting for the scouts to come and... Oh, that thing's way up in the air. I'm almost positive that's going to be a defense platform. Uh, let's move the Orca down close to, but not too close, to this defense platform. So I'm going to erase your orders there. And instead, have you protect position right about here. And let's go like 20 kilometers. And no, let's go 12. Good. Okay, so everybody will follow the Orca to this staging position. And then we'll start our assault on the defense. Ooh, look at that. Talati carrier. Condor's coming through. I'll bet the Talati will be happy to get this system back. It's their home system. The Xenon took it from them in very early in my game. And, uh, I'll finally get it back. Man, we should get a frickin' medal for this. Okay. Here. I want you... to go up. Tell me what that station is. So I told them to go up a little higher than he needed to. Yep, it's a defense platform. Okay. All right, so we're going to have to take out two of those bastards. That sucks. Remove that command. Don't get don't get yourself blown up there, dude. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think I might have got him a little too close. Can he get away? That stupid flea command. It's so Sometimes they run right into what they're trying to run away from. I think he's going to make it. Yeah, here, let's remove that so he goes where he needs to go. Okay, cool. Um, so you guys are moving into position here. And yeah. All right, guys. Well, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to destroy these two defense platforms and hand Eonimus 04 back to the Talati, and hopefully they're appreciative of that and will give me a billion dollars. Yeah, like that's going to happen. Um, and then what we'll do... Oh, we got another K coming through. Uh, then what we'll do is... we will do our final push here into Matrix 9, and of course... Well, uh, you know, I'm definitely going to do that on camera uh, because this, is, this will be our very first assault on a Xenon home sector uh, in X4. I have done it before in X2 and X3, but not in X4 with a, a really small fleet on top of that. So that is the plan for the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.